The category winner for retail is Hostum by James Plum. Congratulations. OK, well, congratulations. Tell us about the project. I know it actually. It's in Redchurch Street in Shoreditch, isn't it? Which is one of my favourite streets in London. It's a, it's a street that was really run down a couple of years ago and is very rapidly becoming, not exactly gentrified, but there's a lot of shops and bars and things going in there. They're all very, they all have a very strong character, don't they? They're very sort of offbeat. So tell us about your contribution to the street. Well, it's interesting you say, I mean, um, and actually it was a point we forgot to make in our presentation, which was that at the time of the store opening, um, there was no kind of high-end uh, menswear store uh, of that nature. So, um, yeah, it was a really interesting challenge to, to bring something to, to the area, sympathetic to the area, um, yeah, in a meaningful way. And so describe what, what is the shop, so what does it sell and, and how did you approach the design of the interior? Um, the shop sells... Um high-end menswear clothes. Um, I think there's about 14 designers that they stock. Um, and I guess there's a real symmetry between, perhaps that's why the, the owners of the store chose us, because a lot of the, the um, brands that they stock are very artisanal and, and handmade and very small collections produced each year. Um, so I guess we really tried to, and that's similar to how James and I work. There's just the two of us, um, and very hands-on. So there's a nice little relationship there. This image is um, of an old railway conductor's a leather bag and we saw this um, at an antiques market and I guess we get attracted to, to certain pieces and we just love the idea. We just said the bag feels very kind of hostile, yeah, very hostile and quite masculine um, but we wanted to, to turn it into something that could function so um, essentially it's a We've cast concrete into it. Um, yeah. So it's a bag full of concrete. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that is just, just sort of for the sake of having a nice object in the store, or does it sort of serve a? There was a real purpose? balance we wanted to strike with with the retail interior. <coughs> Our background is, is fine art, and we wanted to push as far away as we could from what we perceive to be a traditional retail space, um, as few rails as possible. And we really wanted to present the, the beautiful clothes in. in uh, just a very considered manner. So um, plinths were, were one device, and as well as these, these bags, which look fantastic with a pair of shoes sitting inside of them. We also cast little, uh, sort of, uh, roughly 30 centimetres square, little concrete plinths. So the, the footwear just sits really beautifully and is framed. And just mm. It's given the attention it deserves. Let's scoot back then to have a look at these kind of interesting images you've selected. Tell us about this one. Yeah, this really sums us up, um, how we work. This, uh, this image was actually taken in Spain, uh, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, a small village about an hour west of Madrid, and just as we are wandering around, and this, this object just captured our imagination. It's, all of our work starts from broken, abandoned, discarded objects that, that we see, and we just identify with them, and we want to give them a home, give them a, a new purpose. I actually wanted to, I said, James, do you think we can put it in a suitcase? But it was actually outside of a church, so we thought that, that would be, be wrong. But again, I guess we see, or get, we empathise with some objects in this bin made us um, yeah, stop and kind of command our attention, I guess. Because it has, yeah, we're drawn to, um, I guess, pieces with, with character. And want to steal it. And want to steal it. I know that's, I shouldn't have said that probably. <laughs> okay. But you didn't though, did yeah. you? No, I didn't really say that. This image is of a large pile of cement. Um, we, we explained to the judges earlier that we, we, you know, we come from a, we're sculptors, we come from a sculptural background and we love making things. Um, so we, we made most of the, the pieces in the shop. So um, two shovels, which we quite like. And, um, yeah, it's basically this was the process of us making and, and casting the cement um, for some of the fixtures in the shop. Um, so you did it all yourself, you mixed all your own cement and everything? Yeah. yeah, so this really represents the kind of blood, sweat and tears, sort of, we probably just put the shovels down in a, in a bout of exhaustion from having sort of hand shoveled all this cement and mixed it ourselves. Yeah. This is, um, this again kind of sums us up, this is in a strange way, our idea of heaven. We had, um, we had a residency um, about this time last year in Milan, a fantastic gallery, it's about to see Rosanna Orlandi, and Rosanna invited us to Milan to make a new collection of work using her archive as the starting point. And so our first day we arrived, and uh, she pointed to this blue van and said, 
you can go north of Milan to where I have a factory where she stored a lot of a lot of objects. And we just had the most fantastic day, kind of wandering up to do this factory, picking things out um, in it, and then you know we had a whole van to, to kind of bring them back to Milan and work on. Yeah, which will probably lead into the next image, but which is our car, which um, this is on the way driving back from Milan actually during the crazy snow um, last December. And yeah, we, we wanted to put this image because I guess our car is, um, I can't believe I'm talking about our car, but it's, uh, it's, I guess, one of our other limbs in a way that we are forever filling, for, for, um, filling with bits and pieces and tying things to the roof. Yeah, I guess it, it represents our journeys. Um, that's, that's what we love doing, it's what, it's what kind of drives all our work, it's just the discoveries and yeah, the, the different things that we've had tied to the roof of the car over the years has been quite impressive um, and this, this was a kind of crowning moment when we were sort of snowbound in Switzerland on our way, yeah. our way back from, from <laughs> Milan. So your approach seems a sort of almost like a scavenging approach, you, you spot things, you sort of, you almost hoard things and then turn Precisely. them into... Yeah. into and, and it's projects. often um, the most exciting finds are when we're least looking. And that's why it always ends up on the roof of the car. You know, we might hire a van to go antique something and then you never find what you're looking for. So it really is, uh, we kind of have to be prepared to strap things onto the roof of the car at a moment's notice. Well, it's, it's great to have met you and to have heard the story behind uh, what is a very beautiful shop. And congratulations on winning the category. Thank you. Thank you. Very much.